Hello again and welcome to the Interchange Book 3 video series for Unit 5. Now today we're going to be talking about noun phrases. Noun phrases with relative clauses. Alright, so let's get started. So this is Mike and Molly and they're looking at Facebook and see that their friend Jason has moved to Russia to study abroad for a semester. Molly and Mike have a conversation about their different opinions on traveling and living abroad. Let's listen to their conversation. Hey look, Jason's in Russia. I can't believe he actually went. That's so crazy. I know, right? That is so cool. God, I'm jealous of him. Jealous? Why are you jealous? You mean you want to do something like that? Yeah, of course. Well, maybe not in Russia necessarily, but I definitely want to live in another country one day. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. There would be so many things I'd be unsure about. Really? Like what? Well, one thing I'd be nervous about is the food. I'm a really picky eater. Really? Not me. The one thing I'd be the most excited about is trying all the new food. Uh-uh. No thanks. Getting sick from the food is something I'd be super worried about. Well, what about the language? Learning to speak a new language is something I'd absolutely love. Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea how hard that would be? Not understanding anybody would be so scary. Maybe at first, but eventually you'd start to understand. Plus, wouldn't you miss people? My friends and family are people who I'd miss too much to be gone for so long. Yeah, but you can always make new friends while you're there. Missing home is something I definitely wouldn't be worried about. Well, then what would you be worried about? Well, I guess one thing I'd be worried about is not wanting to come back home. So after taking a look at the video and listening to the conversation, let's look at our grammar for today. And our grammar for today is talking about noun phrases. So a noun phrase is basically a noun and then a relative clause that gives more information about this noun. So if we look at this sentence, it reads, one thing that I'd be nervous about is the food. Now here's my noun, one thing. And I want to give more information about what thing or which thing. So I use the relative clause. So I say one thing that I'd be nervous about. And this is my relative clause. Now I can use that or I can decide not to. So this is optional. Okay. But in order to make this a full sentence, I need to tell you what. One thing I'd be nervous about is the food. And in this context, the food is the object of the sentence. It's telling me what. What are you nervous about? right let's look at another example this one says a person who I'd miss is my mom again here's my noun a person and here's my relative clause to describe which person or what type of person so a person who I'd miss and again who is optional so a person who I'd miss is my mom and the object is my mom very good okay now I want to show you something now when I say the object of a sentence, I can often use a gerund phrase. Now a gerund phrase, remember, is an ing verb. And a lot of times we use those verbs like a noun. They are ideas, right? So for example, if we look at this sentence, it says, something that I'd be excited about is trying different food. So here's my gerund phrase, and it starts with the gerund, ing, right? So this is an idea. The idea of trying different food is my gerund phrase, and therefore it's an object of the sentence. It's a noun, right? Or this one. The thing that I would be nervous about is missing my family. So again, here's my gerund, missing, and I'm using it as a gerund phrase to describe the idea of missing my family. Very good. Okay. 
So let's look at the idea of the subject and the object of the sentence. If we look at the sentence, it says, one thing that I'd be nervous about is the food. So my subject is the entire noun phrase, right? And my object is the food. But I can put this sentence in a different order. And I can put the food first and the noun phrase as the object. And I can say, the food is one thing that I'd be nervous about. And that's OK, right? Now remember, down here, I had a sentence that says, one thing that I'd be excited about is trying different food. Now trying different food was the gerund phrase, and that's the noun, that's the idea. And again, I can use this idea first and put the noun phrase second. And I can say, trying different food is one thing that I'd be excited about. OK. so. After watching the video, I hope this was helpful in describing how to form and how to use noun phrases, not only using them as the subject of the sentence, but as the object of the sentence also. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.